Hello students, have you ever played with a fridge magnet at home? You threw them at the fridge and click, they stick. But have you ever wondered why they do this? It's all because of something called magnetic poles. So today in our video, let's understand what magnet and their poles are all about. By the end of this video, you will be a magnet master. Okay, let's get started. Here's a little home experiment you can do if you have a piece of magnet lying around. Take a piece of paper and sprinkle some iron filings on top. Iron filings are tiny pieces of iron and they react beautifully to magnets. Hold your sheet above the magnet and gently tap the paper. Sit back and watch what happens next. Do you see how the iron filings gather more densely at each end of the magnet? Magnetic force is strongest at the ends. These two ends are called as the poles of the magnet. There is a north pole and a south pole. Every magnet has both of these poles where the magnetic force is the strongest. Now let's break it down a bit. Poles are always present at the two ends of the magnet, no matter what its shape. So whether it's bar shaped, cylindrical shaped, U shaped, you will always find two poles attached to it. What happens if you break a magnet into two? Will one half have only a north pole and the other half only a south pole? Let's find out. To our surprise, each piece still has both a north and a south pole even after the magnet is broken into smaller parts. No matter how many times you break a magnet, each piece will always have two poles. You can't get a north pole or just a south pole on its own. It isn't possible. This is because magnets must always be balanced. Both poles are necessary. But why do magnets need poles? To understand this, let's talk about the biggest magnet of all, Earth. Yes, our planet has its own North Pole and South Pole. That's why compasses work. The needle in a compass always point towards the Earth's North Pole. For as long as we can remember, people have used compasses for navigation. The tiny magnet inside a compass is the needle, which orients the North Pole towards the Earth's North Pole, helping travelers determine their direction. The next time you go on an adventure with a compass in hand, it's those magnetic poles doing the job. Now about fridge magnets. These also have a north and a south pole, which is why they stick to your fridge. And now that you all know about magnets and their poles, you can try the iron filing experiment at home and see it in action. Remember, magnets are fascinating and are used everywhere even in ways we might not notice. See you again in another interesting video. Thanks everyone for watching.